Selling your house? Thornton's Property. Experienced local staff that deliver the best results. Proud sponsors of Saints TV. A 4 2 defeat to Hearts tonight. What are your thoughts on tonight's game? I thought first half played well um, and came in leading 2 0 at half time. Had some good chances. Had some good chances as well, uh, first half. But we, we, would, you know, we took the, the two goal leads and I said to him at half time, you know, the game's not over. You, you need to make sure we don't get the next goal. And they got the next goal and we just. We capitulated. We were just so poor. We were mentally weak. And to come away from the game losing 4 2, uh, I was quite embarrassed by that. Um, and I hope they are as well in there. So it's a little lesson for them that games are never finished at half time. But it's not the first time this has happened. The second time it's happened, we played Hamilton 2 0 up, 2 2, um, 2 0 up against Hearts and lost 4 2. So it shows me it's not improving, it's getting worse. So it's something I need to rectify. Um, what are your thoughts on tonight's game? Uh, I'm really disappointed, obviously, to lose 4 2 in the end. It's just it's not really acceptable and just really not happy with it. The goals conceded were they disappointing from a defensive point of view? Yeah, terrible goals. Um, first goal, I think, centre back left it at the goalkeeper, um, uh, and everybody was in two minds. The Hearts boys reacted quicker. Good finish. Second goal was um, I don't think there was enough pressure on the ball at the edge of the box. Good finish by the Hearts player again. Third goal, Ben Quigley, uh, Ben McKenney makes a great save off the post, comes back. We're slow to react, and then Hearts take the lead. And then the fourth goal, uh, it was another good finish by the boy, but uh, we could have done better defensively. What was the mood in the team going into tonight's game following last week's defeat from Aberdeen? Oh, just the same, we, we, we try and get a victory. It's always, you know, we always go and try and win games. Um, and my start to the game was good tonight, but we're setting our performance for 30 minutes was, it was a shambles really. Um, and it's something we can't accept and we won't accept. So we'll have to rectify that, we'll have to look at it, um, we'll have to make changes and um, we'll have to work on definitely defensive side of the game um, because we're losing far too many goals. Um, you scored in the first half today, what are your thoughts on your goal? I uh, thought, thought it was a good finish by me, uh, just seeing the keeper kind of take a step to his left and just put it in the near post so kind of got lucky and then but it was, a good, it was a good overlap and then obviously got the flick on from Big Denny so I'm happy with the goal. Looking ahead to next week's game against Hibs, what are your thoughts going into it? Hopefully we'll get a clean sheet, that's my thoughts <laughs> right at this moment. Um, no, just to prepare the team, uh, I think we've got a lot of defensive work to do for another week. We'll, we'll go and work hard, we'll prepare as we always do, and we'll go and try and win the game. Finally, Jason Kerr has been called up to Scotland's under-21 squad to face England and Latvia, and Kyle McLean has been called up to Ireland's under-21 squad against Estonia. How good will it be for them to play in these games? Yeah, it'll be great for both of them, great experience for both of them. We could have been doing with both of them tonight um, after that performance second half, but no, hopefully they'll go on and, and do well, represent your country is always it's a great honour, and the boys are doing it uh, under-21 level, so you know, good luck to them and we wish them well. Um, can you tell me about your football career so far? Uh, well, I started at boys club at Schoon Thistle at like 13, 14 and started at the under 14s for Saints. Uh, did 14s twice because I was small and uh, thought maybe I'd have to do another year to catch up on height and stuff and then I've just all the way up to under 20s, probably my second season full time. But I had a few games when I was still at 17, so it's, it's going okay. Uh, what are your targets for this season? Just to uh, continue starting for the under-20s as much as I can, and then win as many games as I can, just take it from there.